Good morning, Isabel Gillespie here. We're videotaping the fair exhibits at Gladstone's Agricultural Fair Day. And we're starting with flowers. The a dining table arrangement first goes to Grace Blair, second to Grace Adamson, and third to Bernice Evenson. And the non flowering plant first goes to Margaret Snell of Gladstone, and third goes to. Um, Grace Blair, and second goes to uh, Vince Hooper of Gladstone, a fern. Two different kinds of ferns. And then we have the um, marigolds. First goes to Margaret, to Norma Moore, second to Vince Hooper, and third to Bernice Evenson. Um, Mary Golds, first prize goes to Lil Brown of Nipua, second goes to uh, Bernice Evenson of Plumas, and third to Jim Fleck. And the Gladiola, a beautiful uh, orange um, blossom, and Clara Fisher of Plumas takes that one. Uh, Sean Beauchamp of Portage La Prairie took first in, in craft. And we're just going to go with the first because there's so many things to uh, show. This one took first by Michelle Stewart of Gladstone, a water mountain scene with a moon in the background. First went to uh, Cameron McBride. He's inherited or uh, some of the talent that his mother has has been passed on to him. And here's a sketch by Sean Beauchamp, which took first. Here's a black and white sketch by Cameron McBride again. And some nice bags. This one was made by uh, Stacy Waldner. And she took first. Another, this is a second, that's by Cassie McGowan. And here's a little craft right down here. It took first for Shanoa Sheridan. So we'll go down here. First goes to Fern, Karen Ferguson of Gladstone, a little angel. We're just taking the first, and here's a cushion. Grace Blair from the farm, cow on it. Here's first. First prize liquid embroidery to Adeline Scott. Beautiful. Carol Boschman of Gladstone takes an article from discarded fabric. Gift box made from cereal boxes. And this one here is by Grace Blair of Woodside, special occasion decoration. Firecrackers. <clears throat> and first for the cushion to Mary Arthur. And a handicraft jewelry. A Emily Sauchuk of Nipua. Very dainty. Margaret Pritchard took first for the Afghan, and Jean Mosscript took second.
a bird's eye view of the children's work that was entered. Very creative, very well done. Carrie McGowan took it for muffins, bran muffins. Cookies oatmeal went to uh, Lynn Ferguson. Baked dainties, Chris Mosscript. Lynn Ferguson. If I don't say Gladstone, it means they're all Gladstone. Christine Pottinger. Uh, Ponchoa Randy. Gladstone. Our first picture is a scenery one of water and mountains. And then we have Florence's uh, first prize winner of flowers, still life. And then up top here is the third prize winner by Jean McClarty, this old house. And uh, oil or acrylic still life by Rena Innes took second. And Ozzy Witten got third for his oil painting, Still Life, White Cyclamens. This is the four horse team and it, it looks as though that's the only team there is to be judged. And it's um, on the uh, wagon it says, Sunny Jeffrey Woodlands, Manitoba. Sorry, Peggy, it keeps the breeze blows it down. Look, can I do Tell what's on the tape. <clears throat> Very nice set of black Belgians. <clears throat> oh dear, Sorensen's ponies from Marquette. The second team is also Sorensen's from Marquette. And Bradley's from Arden. And then Marvin's ponies. This is the unicorn heavy horse hitch. Journey and uh, come over here for a minute. Journey, come on. Good rest of the night. It, these animals belong to the Sunny Jeffries Woodland Farms. <laughs> 